Angela Merkel has called on the European Union to be more realistic in accepting Britain's Brexit position as trade talks reach a crunch point. The German Chancellor insisted the bloc would have to compromise in the coming weeks if there is to be a successful conclusion in the wrangling over a post-Brexit pact. Her comments were echoed by Europe Minister Michael Roth, who insisted Brussels would have to move away from its hardline demands for access to British waters. France is currently pushing for Michel Barnier not to water down the EU's fisheries position, which has been branded unrealistic by Downing Street. President Emmanuel Macron has threatened to vote down any agreement unless his fishermen maintain access to British fishing grounds. Addressing the EU's Committee of the Regions, Mrs. Merkel said, We want an agreement. That would be a good thing, and particularly urgent from the Irish perspective. We're not going to leave Ireland on its own, but rather continue to stand together in these withdrawal talks. But we also have to take into account the reality, an agreement has to be in the interests of both parties, in British interests as well as the interests of the 27-member European Union. And after a ministerial meeting in Luxembourg, Mr. Roth told a news conference, the negotiations are now at a very critical stage and we're under very serious time pressure. We'll see in the next few days whether a positive outcome can be achieved or whether we have to intensify our preparations for a scenario without an agreement. Let me be clear, this is a message to our British friends, no one should play down the risks of a no deal. This would be very bad news for the EU and also for the UK in the midst of the most serious economic downturn for decades would inflict on our citizens yet another serious economic setback. Asked whether the EU's demands are unrealistic, he added, in a compromise we have to move towards each other's position. Berlin's intervention comes as Brexit talks are expected to miss Boris Johnson's October 15 deadline. Mr. Barnier said, the EU will continue to work for a fair deal in the coming days and weeks. After a private meeting with Mr. Barnier in Luxembourg, Irish Foreign Minister Simon Coveney said, there are a number of weeks left in this negotiation, not a number of days. I don't see that there will be any major breakthrough this week. The Prime Minister has claimed Britons should have no fear about leaving the EU without an agreement.